Welcome back. Uh, it is getting hot where I'm recording and getting a little bit of some crotch pot cooking. Not gonna lie. But, oh, perfect. Go to the Arctic Flows <laughs> and cool down. How coy of me. Disgusting. Just disgusting. We're gonna go to Arctic Flows in reality because there's another fish. Another thing that we must capture with our lure that we haven't yet and that only appears, I do believe, after you've seen the end game credit sequence. So we're gonna return. Shall return. Just like the Jedi. Ah, the Jedi return. And ha 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 ha. And we will catch that fishy. I don't quite remember what it looks like. Oh, cheese and... Well, wasn't that just a great run? Ay, ay, ay. Well, at least it gets us some moolah to purchase things in the store. And we're gonna need to purchase all of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, I just dis did a quick descent into madness. I'm back now. That's fine. It's all fine. I'll be okay. I do think that saying yes has become a filler word for me. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh, we were close to buying the orbital ray. Yep. Ooh, nah. We'll save it for when we're gonna do our grinding and we're gonna be... But see, in this game, it never really feels like grinding. Because once you reach the maelstrom, you're trying to beat your high score. And that's fun and interesting and challenging. And you're like, oh, dude, I wonder what happens when I get this deep, you know? And, uh, it's good. Ooh. Whenever someone says, but, and then, um, so they go, they're like talking, and they're like, but, um, I always, if it's someone that's close enough to me, not to decide not to be friends with me anymore, I'll always go right after, so that it's a full-on but um <laughs> And now, I'm trying to figure out something to say um, when someone says, oh, I just had it in my mind, what was it? Oh, I'm doing terrible! In speaking and in gameplay. What is this malarkey that I'm doing to myself? And to you all. Good gravy. Gosh, it's tasty gravy. Oh, how unfortunate. Alright, well. I don't remember. It was some other speech thing that people often say, like, but um. That I was trying to find something to say afterwards to make it fun. Just like, but um, shh. Mm, something, the way I said something a second ago reminded me of it. And I don't know what it was. Y'all, so this would be so much faster with that orbital ray. That orbital ray. Rays are so great. Gosh, I'm talking a lot about Star Wars, but I'm gonna keep talking about it. Ray, gotta say. Had a good hardcore crush on her for a little bit. But I'm over it now. I think I think a lot of people did. Uh, I'm curious, actually. People that didn't like the Star Wars remakes. People that hated them. And there were people that fervently, passionately hated the new Star Wars movies. The J.J. Abrams ones. Uh, do I want to do anything right now? I don't think so. I don't think so. No. I wonder if those people had a crush on Ray too. Or Daisy Ridley. Hmm. Interested. If you hated this, the, the new Star Wars movies, post in the comments below. Did you have a crush on Daisy Ridley for a bit? Or did, was your, your passionate hatred for the new movies 
too much for you to take anything positive out of it, let me know in the comments. Because I'm curious. I, I really... I tried to find someone to talk to me about how much they hated the movies. And, uh... I, I couldn't find anyone to, like, deliberate. I was like, tell me everything. Like, rant, please. Because I wanted to understand. Because for me, I'm very particular, too. Uh, but for some reason, I, I really love the Star Wars movies. And, you know, who cares anyway? Like, it doesn't really matter. If the, it's all subjective. What, a, what defines a good movie is, I would say, arguably subjective. And so, who cares? But, I mean, it's a movie. Like, it's meant to be liked or disliked. Uh... And, uh, but I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed all the movies. Um, people said the last one, Rise of Skywalker, I think. I think that's what it was called. Um, had a lot of pacing issues. And I thought that was really enjoyable to mix up the pacing a little bit. To feel like we went, oh, there he is. Yes, good. We caught the new, I suppose you could call that a fish. I do suppose. All right, we can't catch the jelly. Okay, good. Oh, the jelly's not here. This is where Billy was. Billy, Billy Senior, apparently. We talked about that. I still, with all of the, the new movies, there's our booger boy. <sighs> Sorry, booger gender. Uh, I, I'm, I'm left with the feeling of magic. I just, it just has a magical feeling after having finished the movie and, and during the movie. It's just a very enjoyable experience. Uh, and, and you know, maybe even by basic like movie industry standards or artistry standards, the movie wasn't good, but it didn't get in the way of my enjoyment. And that's just my personal opinion, you know? That's just, uh, just how I feel about it, you know? And if you hated the movies, like, I, 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 I could not, I welcome that. That's the phrase I'll use. I totally welcome that. Like, I, I searched for someone to rant about it to me because I wanted to talk to them and see their perspective. And so if you feel that way too, or if you just don't care about Star Wars at all, and you're like, why is he talking about Star Wars so long? I don't care. I welcome all of it. All of it is welcome. Uh, so, there you go. There you go. Let's shoot the gills off of this, off of this booger creature. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Ah, oh, so ready for that orbital ray. Come on, ray. Come on, 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 come on. I am learning Stevie Ray Vaughan on the guitar right now. And I am not a rockin' kind of person, but it is fun stuff. I mean, I listen to every genre. But, uh, it's just, it's not the kind of music I would listen to. I'm not, I'm not big on blues, but I, I can't really say that 100% certain because I haven't listened to a lot of blues. Uh, it's just it. Yeah, so I'm not going to say anything because I, I don't feel like I've really delved enough into it to know, but really enjoying playing Stevie Ray Vaughan. What a beast. Gosh, I mean, it's, it's, it's slightly disturbing how he just injured himself and his hands uh, playing the guitar like he would he, he picked the the thickest possible strings and would just I mean, it, they would just I'm not even gonna describe it because it just it grosses me out to be honest his fingers would just get so messed up and he would put crazy glue on them and just keep on playing I think that's dope and I respect it but I'm not going to use the words to describe what is actually happening with the fingers. It's not, it's not going to do it. It's gross. Gross. Ew. Gross. Wait. Um, we are so close to getting a piece of headwear that we need. Hmm. Ooh, 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 let's look at our booger. <laughs> As we all do at least once in our lives. Green thing. 
Reminds me of my childhood. Ah, yes. Is it a gesture knot? Is that piece of headwear? Let me show you. Is this mysterious headjet really that important or not? Is it a chest or not? We'll have to see. Bye. Head jet jet epi jet ba ba jet head my jet ba. Yeah. Yeah.